Okay, it says we're live. We'll give us a few seconds here. Let everybody come in. Let's see, four people are watching. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Adam. Hello, hello. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll just give us a few minutes here. There's a couple of people coming in. Hi, Andrew. All right, Louisa. Hi, Redhead Roofing in July. Hi, uh, Tom. Hi, all right, we will get started here. Hi, Christian. Um, so, uh, I've seen this stuff in the comments, and I'm seeing this thing of the Revelation 12 sign thing in Virgo, the Virgin, all this stuff. And I thought, wow, what? You know, and, and I have to admit to being a little stupid because I kind of thought, you know, back then, years ago, I was thinking to myself that this whole Revelation 12 sign thing was thoroughly debunked and it won't come up again. It failed, it flopped. And I thought, there's no way anybody's going to bring this up again. Never underestimate the uh, stupidity and ignorance of the lost people out there. It's just insane. Yeah, it's back. So um, here we have Robert Brager, the Revelation 12 sign reborn. Uh, so uh, that's kind of an interesting thing there because... Um, I didn't know that a failed prophecy could be reborn. Um, it's, I don't remember. I'm trying to think here where that's at in the Bible. Do you know where it's at, Oliver? No. It, it's in there though, somewhere. It has to be because you know Robert Breaker. He's you know he's got what 668,000 subscribers, and you don't get there unless you're honest. And you know, especially on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I mean, hey, it's there someplace. Failed prophecies can be reborn. Born, I mean, born again prophecies, apparently. <laughs> born again failed prophecies. So uh, before we get to this, I'm going to show you. I actually took my old videos down because I didn't think it would be brought back. But uh, my the uh, backup channel that the one brother does for me, um, King James Video Ministries there. And here are the two old videos that I did five years ago. Okay, actually, it'd be more like six years ago. Um, and I, you know, I didn't think there was any need to keep the videos up, so I took them down. I was getting into a little bit of the imminence thing and whatever, which, you know, understanding when we get to the end there where you have a lot of the signs fulfilled for the church age um, that are there in the end times, perilous times, so shall come men, shall be lovers of their, of their own selves. Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having in their conscience seared with a hot iron, you know, forbidding to uh, marry and commanding to abstain from meats, you know. So um, those are prophecies for us that we will see before we leave. So, you know, what, whatever I've talked about the imminence thing before, but I got into some of there, so I deleted the videos. But um, I get into it and just talked about how it's ridiculous. This whole thing, this Revelation chapter 12 thing that this it's a constellation up there it's not a constellation we'll talk about that here in a minute but um let's start out with the scripture here deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 20 but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which i have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods even that prophet shall die false prophets in the old testament you give false prophecy it carry the death penalty uh, it was a very serious thing to lie and say, God showed me this, and when God didn't do it. Verse 21, And if thou say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When the Lord is not speaking through these, these guys. Um, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, 
That is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Okay, he has no power, in other words. Um, it doesn't come to pass. And you'll see this funny thing in the beginning here. We'll watch the first few minutes of Breaker's most recent sermon. But in this whole thing here, I'm going to click on this one. You can watch the other one too. I get into some of the scriptures there, but all right. Um, I'm not going to play the whole video. You can watch it if you want to. But I get into the thing of that uh, basically there was this, you know, just the people attacking me in the comments, saying all kinds of nasty stuff about me. Typical. Uh, you're wrong, Brian. You're wrong. You're lying and whatever else. This is crazy. You know, you're you're attacking, you know, prophecy. It's going to happen. No, it didn't happen. And um, on Wikipedia, I show that this thing of William Tapley's channel, Third Eagle Books, uh, actually had this whole thing on there. And um, and it goes down to, and it says about media attention and critics. And it was actually uh, written about in the Washington Post, in the Boston Globe. Mainstream media covered this thing when it came out. They love to cover false prophecy stuff. And this is this William Tapley guy. He's a total papist, just wacko nut. And he came out and he's saying, you know, showing this chart right here, the 23rd September 2017, just like Robert Breaker did back then in 2017. And here he's talking about all this weird stuff. Again, you can watch the video. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Um, but. Uh, where's the thing? OK, I was talking in here about this. We'll talk about this in just a minute. Um, See if I can get to this thing. Okay. Um, we'll get back to this in just a minute here, this video. But I'll go over the same things I talked about way back when. So we can see that the thing, if a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord and it doesn't follow, it doesn't happen, then you know that they were speaking of their own. It was not of the Lord. They're a false prophet. But let's go to Revelation chapter 12, this whole thing of the, the Revelation 12 sign and all this other stuff. First off, I would like to point out that this is halfway through the time of Jacob's trouble. It's not at the beginning. It doesn't start it. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. It's a crown. It's not randomly placed stars in constellations, another constellation out there, Leo the lion or something. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. How do you get? stars doing that you say well brother brian stars are angels in the bible okay stars are angels but uh, i don't think that they can be you know crying and travailing in birth pain to be delivered you know such a weird thing and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads and his tra tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born Where's the great red dragon constellation that's right below the feet of the woman and, and things? Okay, John sees a woman. He does not see a constellation. He doesn't say, I saw a woman in the shape of stars, and that above her head there were more stars. He doesn't say that. Just go with the, and how, how could stars be clothed with the sun? Just read the Bible, all right? Uh, it's insanity how people can fall for this stuff. But here's the important thing. Robert Breaker blasphemes Jesus Christ in this, actually calls the Lord Jesus Christ a liar, you know, not in those exact words, but he says it by implication. I'll play it here. And it's just kind of, eh, you know, whatever. Listen to this. And to you. You disgusting little false prophet, you. You make me sick. Let's continue. The last thing that I want is for you to be left behind. Yeah. Are you saved? So I hope that answers the question. Many say that no man knoweth the day or hour. Why? I do not concur. <laughs> I mean, people, wake up for crying out loud. Many say no man knoweth the day or the hour. I do not concur. He doesn't agree with Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Uh, uh, and again, you know, well, it's not a big deal, you know. Um, you know, uh, Mendoza, there they are. I, I do not concur. People still watch the guy. Said that Jesus committed suicide in one of his videos. I exposed him and he took it down. Oh, well, it was just, I know what I was saying, but it just kind of came out wrong. <laughs> you can't just, oh, have it kind of come out wrong. I mean, it's insanity, right? So, but we're going to now watch the first few minutes of this idiotic nonsense here. Um, so, let's do it this way here so you can see the whole thing. Um, this one just came out three days ago or something like this. And uh, idiot boy here is back at it again. Um, you aren't going to believe some of the stuff he says, but let's go here for a few minutes. We'll endure. And we're not watching the whole thing. I don't want to hurt anybody's brain, you know. So here we go. Okay, I'm Robert Breaker, and this will be our Sermon of the Week for the cloudchurch.org. And this is probably one of the most important videos that I will ever make. This is a must-see video and a must-share oh, yeah. video. So please watch this and please yeah. share this. Get this out. This is the proverbial handwriting on the wall, if you will. From <laughs> Proverbial handwriting on the wall? Oh, what was that in the scriptures? Oh, when God wrote on the wall. So he's already claiming, you'll see here in a minute, he claims this is from the Lord. Remember what a false prophet does? The Lord showed me this. The Lord, I know for sure he said this, and it doesn't come to pass. Listen. From God to man. And it is important. From okay. God to man. Hold on a second. Must share video. So please watch this and please share this. Get this out. This is the proverbial handwriting on the wall, if you will, from God to man. And it is important that we take note when God tries to speak to us. Now, I believe. Oh, oh, oh. when God tries to speak to us and it's Breaker speaking here, he is claiming to be giving a prophecy. Blew it back in 2017, but now it's back. It's back and it's better this time. It, it kind of failed, but now it's, you know, it's probably God's fault for not making it happen the first time. And, and you know, now he's going to get it right this time, I think, kind of. <laughs> no. Insane. Here we go. Leave every word of the Bible. And so I'm doing this sermon from the scriptures, but I also. Uh, I'm doing it from the scriptures? No, you're not. Liar. I don't want you to see something that's happening in the world today that will make you go, what? I mean, it is it is super exciting and amazing. And there, there comes a time when you just cannot believe in coincidences anymore. Because this is more than a coincidence. This has to be God. Now, how do we interpret it? How do we understand it? That's what we're trying to do today. I want to go only to the scriptures, but I also want to show you about something that's taking place. Now, this is entitled, The Revelation 12 Sign, Reborn. Don't look up. Why did I say don't look up? Well, I'll, I'll get to that here in a moment. But if you know anything about me and who I am, I'm Robert Breaker. I'm a missionary evangelist to the English and Spanish-speaking people. And I preach online in English and Spanish every week, and I try to bring you a new sermon. Now, uh, I have a lot of followers on YouTube, and a lot of people ask, why? Why do you have so many subscribers? And the answer is the two most popular videos that I did. The first was September 23rd, 2015. In English, I got almost 2 million views. <laughs> you see it? He's talking about a failed prophecy. Uh, and he'll say, oh, well, you know, I wasn't actually prophesying the date. September 23rd, 2015 is a date. Okay, if you're saying it could be September of 2015, not sure of the day, that's one thing. But he writes a date on the board there, right there. This is what made me popular. And then he says, I didn't predict a date. You know, um, this isn't a brush. It's a brush. Continue. On that video. And I didn't set a date or anything like that. And it's I didn't set a date or anything like that. And Spanish-speaking people, 23rd, 2015. I didn't set a date. I didn't set a date or anything like that. September 23rd, 2015. No, no, no. It's not. That's 
that date is not a date. You see, there can be dates, Oliver, that are not dates. They're just dates. The thread is not thread. It's thread. Yes. There you go. You, you got it. Now you're thinking like Breaker or, or not thinking. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Let's continue. In English, I got almost 2 million views on that video. And I didn't set a date or anything like that in the sense of I think the rapture is going to be on such and such a day. Rather, I said, wow, all over the Internet, there's people that are talking about this certain day, September 23rd, 2015. So I said, I'm going to make a video about it and show you all the things that they're saying. Well, I did the same thing again on September 23rd, 2017. That was my most watched video. In English, it got almost 10 million views. Paid off good, didn't it, Breaker? Yeah. And uh, back in those years, that's when you admitted to uh, having people falsely inflate your numbers, which is illegal to do, which I exposed on my channel. Video is still up on my, on my channel about that. Artificially using bots to inflate his numbers. Mm -hmm. He admits it. They're not the real. But, you know, of course not. Totally illegal. Can't do that on YouTube. Unless your name's Robert Breaker and Gene Kim. He likes to do it as well. But uh, crazy. Let's continue. And there was something that took place in the stars on September 23rd, 2017, that I thought was worthy of talking about. And I still think it is. I still think we should talk about that. And it ties into Revelation chapter 12. And we'll look at... Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You're a liar. It had nothing to do with Revelation chapter 12. Not one thing. You're a liar. You were proved to be a liar years ago. It flopped, it failed, and you're back. The whole thing was co cooked up by a Roman Catholic, a Catholic mystic. And he's pushing this stuff on his channel. You're supposed to take him seriously. Look at that here in a moment. But a lot of people have been following me since then. A lot of people told me they've gotten saved through my ministry. And oh, I praise yeah. the Lord for that. A lot of people tell me, Brother Breaker, you got me back into the Bible, to read the Bible and to discern the times of when we are. For we believe that we are definitely in the last days. So Daniel chapter 12 and mm -hmm. verse 4, the Bible says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Now this is a prophecy that God gave to Daniel. And God tells Daniel to shut up the prophecy until the end. Well, I believe we are here close to the end. And then it continues and says in Daniel 12, 4, Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. We live in a day and age of much knowledge. There is so much knowledge, and it has increased, and it keeps increasing. And we keep learning more and more and more with the Internet. And, and boy, you can sure run to and fro through the Internet. Lots of knowledge going around the world at a rapid pace. In oh, fact, yeah. I guess it's uh, the speed of light, if you will, because it's fiber optic cable in many cases and things like that. But it's all about knowledge, and I think knowledge is key, and knowledge is important. So I want you to have knowledge. Uh, if you don't understand, Robert Breaker, he is a Gnostic. So he's absolutely right. Knowledge is key for him because he's a heretic. See, Gnos Gnosis, knowledge, it's all up here. I believe, therefore I am saved. I declare myself to be saved because I believe in my mind. I don't have to call. God doesn't save me. I save myself with my knowledge. I understand what the Bible says. I understand what he did. I understand the gospel. I understand 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. I understand the blood. I understand. I understand. I understand. It's all up here. He's a Gnostic. That's why he looks to the stars. But it, it gets worse here. Let's continue. And I want you to know something. And so we're going to look at this. And here's the word no in knowledge. I think you ought to know. Uh, knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. But I won't get into that what's happening in the world in the sky okay I'm gonna leave it at that and we're gonna talk a little bit more about this but I want you to know that there's something taking place in September and I want to ask the question what does it mean now some people will say oh no not this again <laughs> oh for you then don't look up don't don't even don't even go there just don't just forget about it okay but for you that are interested in prophecy and in times in the uh, Bible, uh, no, look no, up. Hold, hold on. Hold on there. Hold on, stupid. Hold on. Uh, oh, not this again. You failed at a prophecy that you gave multiple times. You failed, breaker. Oh, no, not this again. 
you should be put to death. And you know, you're headed for hell for all of eternity. Well, hell and then the lake of fire, just to be really clear about it. Let's continue. And look into this and see what you think. You see, I believe in the rapture of the church. In Titus chapter 2, 13, the Bible says, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. So as a Christian, I am looking for Jesus' return. Can't wait. Now, I want to go to Philippians also, chapter 3, because the Bible tells us in the book of Philippians, as we're waiting for Jesus, we're supposed to be looking up. So I want to do that. I want to look up. Somebody told me about a movie that Hollywood made a while back, and I'm not into movies. I don't like to watch movies because Hollywood always seems to have an agenda, unfortunately, and uh, a lot of what they do, there's a lot of bad words and sex scenes and things. Things like that. I pick a do some mining for mineral resources there, butter nuggets and things. Um, but uh, <laughs> good place to pause it. Um, but, you know, he doesn't watch movies. You know, the Bible says, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside, abstain from all appearance of evil in the New Testament. He doesn't watch movies. But listen to what he says. It's like that. So I don't watch movies. I discern them if I do sit down to see one. <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh, I don't um, watch movies, but I do sound them if I see one. If I sit down to watch or see yeah, one. I, I don't watch them. I see them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm, not, I'm not setting dates. I'm just setting dates. I don't watch Hollywood movies. I just see them. I discern them when I see them. Oh, okay. You know, I'm not I'm not in this for the money. I'm just here to get rich. <laughs> oh. It's the same thing. The different rate. Yeah, so that's about all I'm going to sub subject people to. He goes on and rants and rants and oh, you know, there's there's man's and this there's signs and the whatever else. Yeah. Okay. And so it's going to be this year. It's you know, it, it's looking pretty good. It might be, it might not be, and whatever. Well then you're not a prophet. All right. So uh you know, just just a real quick video here. I'm not going to continue with it, but, uh, you know, insane. And again, we need to pray against this guy because he's a false prophet. He's not a Bible believing Christian. If you're brand new saved and you're watching Robert Breaker, he is going to lead you astray. I just showed you multiple times where he contradicts himself and he lies, just completely flat out lies. Right. Please don't watch Robert Breaker. And uh, we will see everybody in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching.